yes let's make sure you click oh oh yes and then you oh, yes okay let's resume hi guys d sims here and welcome back to the channel and today i bring to you a special decorating video so we're back with sarabi's so townhouse i've been working on this for so long i haven't been able to like sit down and get it all done so all of this has been recorded in pieces we've done some on twitch and i i don't know in my head i was like oh you know so townhouse is not gonna take that long but this is actually taking me some time so in this episode we decorate the entire downstairs so the kitchen dining room the little computer nook area and the living room they will have a half bath downstairs and the second floor is what we're going to be doing in the next video so in the next one i want to do the kids room and i'm thinking of putting i don't know this is a three-story townhouse but i don't really know if i'm going to be using the third story to be completely honest i may turn that into like an attic space and put all three bedrooms upstairs so i really want um the kids to have their own bathroom so i want y to have his own bathroom i want sakari to have hers and i want sarabi to have hers i think i'll be able to squeeze all of that on the on the second floor we shall see and then treat the third but either the the third floor will either be like sarabi's like workspace area or maybe we'll just make it a workspace area in general like places for them places for them to like build skills and stuff but honestly i'm thinking about just turning it into an attic space because I don't know if you know this, but in The Sims, once you pass that second level and you go into the third, um, the camera is really hard to control up there. So I don't really know if I want to play up there that much. But the three, um, the three floors on the outside looks really good. So I just had to sacrifice that play area, girl. Um, I do think I want, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, I think I am going to try to squeeze them all on the second floor. Um, just because I don't want this house to be super big. It's supposed to be of course opened and enough room for them to live comfortably but i just don't want like a big mansion townhouse because it's a lot a lot of space at first i was like okay this is gonna be a little cramped but as i started building in it um i definitely want more of a cozy feel which is why i have gone for a more of a close-knit type design because normally a lot of my houses are very open floor plan they have a lots and lots of space i wanted to make something a little bit more realistic I have to say a lot of my built inspiration from this came from Sim Lissy. Oh my gosh, I'm just in love with Sim Lissy and her decor and her building. And I definitely said I wanted to try to keep them in that Max's Match era. So I do use a lot of Max's Match CC, which looks beautiful, by the way. I love the time of day I'm, I was recording this in because you can see like the light shine into the house and it was just hitting and it was just perfect. Like I absolutely love this townhouse. I love how it's, it turned out and everything i did struggle with the living room not gonna lie i wanted to do like a fireplace built-in type situation but we just don't have anything that can fit in such a close space like a small space i should say but i really would love the ability to make built-ins another thing i wish we had like quarter tile not even quarter tile half tile wall placement would have been amazing could i i could have made some custom built-in but we just don't have that technology yet in the sims girl but um, I had a lot of build inspiration from Sim Lissy and her new uh, CC channel. She has she has Sim Lissy with CC where she builds with a lot of Max's Match CC. And it is so relaxing and soothing. And I was just like a vibe because I was already looking for some inspiration for Sarabi's townhouse. I didn't want to go like too alpha with it because Sarabi, her family, their storyline has always been more Max's Match. And I really enjoy that on a channel. It's having something different and a change. So definitely wanted to stick with Max's match her. But everything came together really nicely. It is a little bit of a, a, a long one, honey. But you guys love decorate videos and we haven't been building that much. Um, Just, well, actually we have been building much, but in moderation, not all together in a decorating. But we'll be continuing this house, doing the upstairs. Um, I talked about this on my live stream, but for the kids room, I really want them to be super like personal, super lived in. So um, Sakari is in this phase where she's like completely like boy crazy and like boy obsessed. She's a preteen. So if you don't know, this is for my new series called The Young Years, which is another spinoff of Sarabi, Runaway Teen Pregnancy, Wayari Farms, Cottage Living LP, whatever you want to call it. And um, the kids are going to be in pre, they're going to be preteens. They're going to be in middle school and we're going to be following them that way. And I really wanted um, some big personalities for them. Like I talked about how 
a lot has changed since the last time we've seen the kids. Um, they've definitely developed a lot of personality and grown into themselves. So we're going to learn a little bit about them, play with the preteens, Ma, and just, you know, do some cute little family stuff that I always love to do on the channel. Um, but Young Years is going to be really exciting. I have Sakari in this like boy crazy phase where she's super obsessed with with boys and first love and romance and stuff like that. And she's gotten into K-pop and she's in love with boy bands. And you guys have sent me a ton of creators that make a lot of K-pop CC um, that I can add into her room. But she's it's going to be like super kawaii, super bright. Honestly, a lot of Sarabi's like teenagery, uh, like how we had her house like super colorful is how I feel Sakari is taking on that. So we, we will get to see the return of the color um, in Sakari's room. And I think that's going to be super cute because... It's like, you know, a little piece of her mama. It's adorable. Whereas Wyatt has really grown into this kind of, um, kind of like a low phase, I would say. Like he's, he is to himself a little bit more. And I think we're going to get into that a little bit more because we talked about how, um, uh, what is his name? Sokka, their father had, he has another family. And I think that is, uh, hurting Wyatt a little bit. So he's really kind of gone into this phase of just um, being by himself. But I only feel like the, the person he's honestly very open with is his sister, which is kind of shocking. But he is he he's not too to himself, but you could definitely see a change in change in him. Um, I think Sokka, you know, not being as present or just not living in the house. Um, has definitely affected him. Um, he turns to video games a lot. He turns to his his uh, guy friends a lot. They play a lot of games together. Um, and he just takes it slow day by day. I don't know. It's a really iffy, a really iffy place. I know exactly like how he feels. So I'm trying to relate a little bit there. Um, but he's really turned to video games and just being by himself and hanging out with his friends, kind of in that stage where he really doesn't want to talk to his mom. He'll talk to his sister sometimes when she's being serious and like when she's not like completely obsessing over something, <laughs> he'll talk to her that. But we're gonna, uh, we're gonna play on that in the series. Maybe him getting close into his dad and opening up to his dad, spending more time with him um, and stuff like that. But I think the family dynamic has affected the kids a little bit, and we will get to see that in the, sh in the I was about to say in the show, in the series. And I'm just really excited to get to it. Like, I've been trying to get so much, so many of my projects done so we can continue on with a lot of it, a lot of storyline. I'm still working on the wedding for Naya. I'm trying to get that finished because I really want to bring that series back along with Single Father and everything else that's coming to the channel. So, girl, I've just been busy. Also, I, I I was just about to say I've been busy again, but girl, I've been busy, okay? Just trust me when I say I've been busy. Um, But I'm going to hush, let you guys uh, sit back and watch. I hope you enjoy. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I will see you guys in the next one. Remember to stay beautiful, stay lovely, stay in the house, and have a grand, grand day. Bye, guys. Actually think of me as less than you Less than you Just wish that I knew How something like that could happen Maybe it's just in passing Cause nothing is ever lasting, no But like really though How do you know that I can overcome All of the obstacles she just looked me Gonna be alright Cause I
You thought he needed them, but he's not coming back again. So he's gone, leaving then. You won't see him again. It was convenient, but you won't be staying friends. And you know that, sweetie, you know that. Think you knew it before, but you just ignored that. So now you won't take bets, but there's no refunds here. So you sort of hurt, it makes you see clear That you were just, you were just lost, you were just lost But now you found, and you realize it wasn't at all Like what you created in your mind It wasn't even nice, you wasted all your time You didn't even like him in real life He said he thought it would be nice if we Ignore that, so now you won't take back. But there's no refunds here, so you sort of hurt. It makes you see clear. You were just, you were just lost, you were just lost. But now you found, and you realize it wasn't at all like what you created in your mind. It wasn't even nice, you wasted all your time. You did.
to see down on the table knowing there's no way that you'll be able to win this one but she's somebody else in the making first she's just gotta stop all the faking and she'll be there but she's wondering if it's gonna feel like she's forever Wondering if it's gonna feel like this whenever she leaves her safe space. She leaves her safe space. Wondering if it is forever, or is there some place that will make her feel better? Make her feel better. Then that's where she'll go. She's wondering if it's gonna feel like she's forever Wondering if it's gonna feel like she's whenever she leaves her safe space She leaves her safe space Wondering if it is forever Or is there some place that will make her feel better Make her feel better Then that's where she'll go Talking to myself like someone's gonna respond I'm getting tired of myself cause I don't know what I want But I'm not out here on my, out here on my own Wondering if it is forever Or is there some place that'll make her feel better Make her feel better And that's 
Tell him he's all you see Tell him you got his keys Cause you thought he needed them But he's not coming back again So he's gone leaving then You won't see him again It was convenient But you won't be staying friends And you know that Sweetie, you know that Think you knew it before But you just ignored that So now you won't take back But there's no refunds here So you sort of hurt It makes you see clear But you were just You were just lost You were just lost But now you found